Hey, I'm back. Uh, so the next thing I wanted to do is uh, just show you how you can change logic based on um, parent-child case properties. And so let me just, so I've been using this app for about a week. Um, one of the things I've noticed, so I go to this co-working space uh, called Spin Street, um, and I'm only allowed to go there a certain number of times per month. Um, so I want to track every time I go there. I don't care when I go. I don't. I don't really care. You know, I care about the date. I don't care about how long I was there. That's not really relevant to me. I also don't care about a score. Um, really, I just want to know that I was there. Um, so I would like to not not see these questions if uh, if I choose the Spin Street activity. Um, so. My plan for how to how to make that happen. So first, first I'm going to store uh, whether or not I care about these things um, in the activity case, and then I will uh, read that case property into the form and and hide these these questions conditionally based on based on the results of that. Um, so to start with, I'm gonna I'm gonna first need to record those those case properties. So I'm I'm gonna add those to my update activity form right now since since I've already got the activity in there. Um, so I just opened that up in a new tab. So I'm going to add another question here. Um, I'm going to make it a multiple choice question. Uh, and I'm going to say, let's see, do you care about extra info? Um, yeah. And so I'm going to add a choice. Uh, yes, I do, or no, I don't. Cool. So that's step one. Uh, step two is going to be to get this information into the case. Um, the other thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to, uh, I'm going to shorten this a little bit to say uh, uses extra info. Um, that's just kind of me being uh, being a control freak, but I like to name my my variables something that um, that's a little more manageable. Uh, it just makes the using the forms and looking at the data easier later on. Um, so I've opened up the uh, manage case section here on the in a new tab, um, and I'm just going to save I'm going to save this uses extra info. The other nice thing that does is that'll default the case property to the to the name that I want. Um, so uses extra info will now save to uh, this case property uses uses extra info. So I'm going to save that, um, and now I'm going to uh, actually. And the one other thing I'll do just just while we're here is uh, I will go ahead and on my let's see on my create event case list um, I'll just display that data, um, and this is this is. Mostly just so we can see it, uh, see it while we're testing. But so I'm going to add uses extra info plain. That sounds good. Okay. So now we can do uh, we can take a look at this. So first, yeah, uses extra. This is blank because uh, I haven't added this property to any of the cases. Um, but I'm going to go back to manage activities. I'm going to update, and so I'm going to update my Spin Street activity now to. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna keep the name the same. I, I suspect that if I if I uh, left that blank, it might override the name to be blank. Um, so that's a bug in my app. I'll have to fix later. Um, but I'm gonna say yeah. So for this one, I don't care about extra info. Um, good. So now when I look, yeah, okay. So use extra info now. Um, so I've got this available now in the case, uh, and the next step is to uh, update the form to use it. So I've got, uh, I don't have the form open, so I'm gonna open the form in a new tab. Um, and right, so, so the way to hide these questions is to, uh, is to use this display condition property here. So, um, so I wanna hide the event duration and the event score if the uh, uses extra info case property is equal to uh, no. So I'm gonna I'm gonna click into the display condition. I'm gonna click this edit button, 
Um, and, and the way these display conditions work uh, is, let's see, so the value will need to, it, it's like the module, so the value will need to be true if I want it to show up, and it will uh, be false if I don't want it to show up. So I don't want it to show up uh, if the case property uses extra info is equal to, uh, let's say is not equal to, um, no. Did I do that right? So if, if uses extra info is not equal to no, it'll show up. Yeah, that's right. Um, and the reason I didn't use equal to yes is, is just because I'm being lazy. Um, I don't want to populate those blank ones right now. So not equal to no, if it's blank, it will still hopefully, uh, it will still hopefully be true that it is not equal to no. And, and so those will still show up. So I'm going to save this. Um, I'm going to save the form. You can see that this display condition is now um, showing me that, yeah, so this uses extra info is not equal to no. Um, so let's see if this works. So I'm going to start. I'm going to record a new event. Uh, I'm going to do spin streets. And let's see. Yeah, so the, uh, so the duration is gone. Um, and actually, I, d I don't care about the score either. Uh, so I'm going to just do the same thing here. Uh, uses extra info is not equal to no. I'm going to save that. And I'm going to save that. And let's go ahead and refresh this. Cool. Perfect. Yeah, so now I am only collecting the dates which is exactly what I wanted. Uh, and I don't need to collect that other junk. And we can see, let's see if it worked. Yeah, so for, for hiking, um, it's still asking me these questions. Uh, so that's great. Um, so that has been uh, display conditions um, and conditionally hiding, hiding questions based on, based on other, other case properties. Thanks for watching.